how many of these shootings need to happen before the powers that be make decisions that will actually stop this craziness from occurring? How many lives need to be lost in these crazy mass shootings targeted at innocent people minding their own business? How many of these innocent people need to die before people in power, humans in power, realize that what they're doing is not effective. <sighs> I asked God today, why? Why did 14 children and a teacher have to lose their lives today? Why? And the answer was plain. It was that people don't pay attention unless they can truly empathize with the situation. So sure, you all remember not long ago at all, some beautiful folks up in Buffalo were shot dead, minding their own business. And it was discussed a little bit, <laughs> but uh, the slap situation with Will Smith and Chris Rock got more publicity for much longer than the killing of innocent black folk. Now, What I am sharing now is a message directly from God. He would like to speak through me, and so he will address you all. I have no idea what he's going to say just yet, but he's going to come through. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill for sport. Thou shalt not kill because you think that someone doesn't belong on this earth anymore. Thou shalt not kill because you want what someone else has. Thou shalt not kill even if you feel threatened. Unless, of course, that person is inflicting deadly force on you. Okay, sure. In that case, you'll be judged accordingly on Judgment Day. Guns. <sighs> there is no need for a gun. No need. If you all do what you're supposed to do, love yourself, love your neighbor, do not judge. And follow the commandments. There would be no need for a gun. Man, woman, humans. Address it. Seriously. This is it. Put the guns down. All of them. Put the guns away.
Well, there you have it. <laughs> Put the guns away, folks. Have a good night, wherever you are.